This is the Torque Motorsports uh, Boost Leak Fix Mod. What we have here is a 2013 Fiat Abarth. Uh, underside of the engine on the Dodge Dart will be very similar. So I'm going to go over. Now for the ease of the video, I've already went through and cut all the hard plastic lines. So I'll, show th I'll go through and show you where each line needs to be cut. All right, first of all, I'm going to want to pull this back right here. Get this solenoid out of the way. Back here there's a line. You want to split that line right here where my finger is. So we pull this line off after we've cut it. We have a barb there. Come over to the front here. I'm going to push this green tab on this line. If I can get that undone. There we go. Got that undone. Right here at this T junction, you're going to cut two lines off. You're going to cut the line that was going to the release fitting, that one there. And then this one here, you're going to cut at the fitting as well. This one traces over to the inlet tube. If you have an aftermarket intake, it'll go to the same one. It has a gray release tab. Push the gray release tab, pull it off. This whole line will come off. There's some fittings and stuff like that, but for the ease of the video, we've just kind of already had pre everything pre-mocked up. Back here, where this green line is here, you're going to want to pull this up out of the holder. And then underneath, there's two lines that hold, there's two clips underneath as well. This whole line will come up as one piece. Okay. So, this is the line you have to go through. You got to cut, you need to remove the check valve from this line. So, again, for the ease of the video, we've already cut the hard lines. There's your check valve. On the end of the line, on the intake, went right here, had the gray release tab on it. You're going to want to cut that. Pull that off and leave that just like that. Put that back on there. All the other hard lines you just had, you want to discard all of them. Again, keep the check valve. On the EVAP purge solenoid, you're going to want to cut this line right here. Okay, so you got this line cut off. You're going to want to take the T fitting. It's already been pre mocked up for you, already pre assembled. You push this down into here. So, if I can get this spun around, that goes in like so. I'm going to have to spin this around. Sorry about this. There we go. That mocked up like so. Get that pushed in there. All right, you got that pushed in. That's the T-fitting that we send with our kit. I'm going to go through, push that back down onto there. Get on all the way. And it may take a little bit of trimming to get this exactly perfect. Actually, hold on. My bad. There we go. That's how it goes. I'll get that all assembled. Get that T pointed out that way. Try to get this hose seated all the way down. Now you get that solenoid pushed back down on there. There you go. Back here, remember the, the T we had back here? Again, my fingers on it. I'm going to go through and put a vacuum cap on that. vacuum cap, seat it all the way down. You want to put a zip tie on that. Again, zip ties come with the kit. Okay, that one's on. Got the front line. Now up here in front, you're going to want to put the check valve in. Check valve goes in this direction. Gray facing the line, black facing out. Remember when we showed you this fitting here? On the intake, you can run this one of two ways. Run it with the, in, with the filter on the end, like so. 
set it in there, not a problem. If your intake doesn't have a line going to it, if your intake does have a line going to it, we include a piece of hose. Put the piece of hose on the check valve. Run it over to your, your intake. We leave the hose a little bit longer for the different types of intakes that are on the market. So, really quick, I'll go through and cut this hose, show you guys how that goes. Kind of a rough cut. We do include a razor blade with the kit, so. So there's, your, there's that line. Now we still have these two here. We gotta go through and put caps and uh, vacuum caps on both of these. Again, vacuum caps and zip ties come with the kit. A little bit of lubricant on the vacuum caps to make them slip on a whole bunch easier also. So you got some WD-40 laying around. That'll be a huge benefit. Okay. Zip tie. Zip ties. I really want to go through and trim these zip ties really quick. We got that one pesky one down and back. We want to go through and trim it too. A little bit of attention to detail. Alright, this has been a proven mod to go through, get two, three PSI, we've seen five to seven horsepower by doing this, this retains all the factory evaporative emissions, it's just an elimination of the factory boost leak that they use for uh, boosted applications for the EVAP mode. There you go, Torque Motorsports, boost leak mod fix.